Hi folks, so it's Sunday, managed to get out. The wind's dropped, I guess it's about, I don't know, 10 to 12 miles an hour. A little bit gusty at times. Um, got the uh, Exili out to try again. Oh, shit. Hi folks, so uh, Sunday, rain stopped, wind's dropped a little bit, about 10 or 12, I would think, a bit gusty at times. Come out with the XLE um, to try and continue and sort out this pitching problem with uh, with iNav, uh, iNav 4 that is. So I spoke to my friend Mark Hoffman, I'm going to put a link to his channel because he's got a great tuning video that I use. Um, and uh, also I've spoken to him and uh, what I've done is I've put a couple of washers, or just one washer actually, just to take the motor uh, down a little bit because it was pointing upwards quite a lot. So I've put one washer in and I'm going to um, put the plane in the air and I've set iNav to um, auto pitch alignment or auto tune. So it's basically trimming all the time. So I'm going to give that a try. Also going to try the auto level setting, um, which I've got set up. So when I switch into um, angle mode, I've also set a switch in modes to basically set up the uh, auto level. So see how that works out. So I've also adjusted the Elevon so that at 1500, uh, they're just slightly above neutral. So we'll get it in the air and uh, we'll see how that works out. It's a bit windy, so it might be a bit more windy up there. So it might be quite difficult to tune it, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, definitely going to see if it's going to be better than it was because it was really, really climbing before and pitching up quite a lot. So yeah, that should be, uh, should be a good indication if we're going in the right direction at least. So thanks for all the tips that everyone gave me uh, on the channel. I think it's GoPro just switched off. Um, yeah, thanks for all the tips on the channel. Um, some really good ideas. Let's see how this works out and we'll keep at it until we get it right. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, we'll, use the, uh, we'll use the Hoff grip and uh, we'll launch it and see how we get on. Ten second countdown. Okay, much better launch. Much better launch. Okay. Get it straight out of loiter. Uh, just crank up the mode three. So it's not soft the sticks. In acro. It's not climbing like it was before. So that's looking good. So let's try this auto level. Not done this before. So put it into angle mode. Now it's auto levelling. So I'm off the sticks, I'm not doing anything. Oh, it's amazing. Is it supposed to do that? That's incredible. So it's just staying. The altitude. Staying at 97. Now I'm not sure if this is supposed to save or, or what it's supposed to do with it. So let's oh, in angle mode it's weird, it doesn't want to turn. Okay, let's just head back. Let's take it out of angle, put it back into acro. Mode. acro. So it's got auto level on all the time. Well, it's just dead level. And just banking to the left. It feels really good. Um, what can I say? My well, son brought it out, it was a nightmare. I can't think that that washer has made that much difference, to be honest. Maybe I'll, I'll land it. Oh, 
Feels really good. Let's bring it down a bit. It is quite windy and it's coping with it really well. Okay, great. So I don't suppose I need to do an auto trim because it's doing it all the time. Let's get it into cruise. Let's get it up. How are we doing on battery? 67%. Let's just put it into cruise. Take it out of auto tune. Cruise mode. Okay. Let's drop it into cruise. Auto throttle 1350. Let's see how it's cruising. Uh, at the moment it's going it's got the wind behind it now so 95 kilometers an hour holding steady just under nine amps or eight and a half to nine amps Cruising out. I oh, see it's looking a lot better. I see hope. I see hope for some long range in the not too distant future. Then I want to get my tracker sorted. Okay, so this is looking good. That's nearly two and a half kilometres out. So it's auto trimming all the time. Okay, that's good. Well, against the wind, 56 kilometers an hour. So in the distance, in the background, that's the big river where I live, out to the North Sea, so I want to do a long range trip out to the sea. I watched a video by Crunkle, Crunkle Flute recently uh, with his Alba bird going out to sea in the sunset. I'll put a link to his video, it's really good, really enjoyed it. Okay, oh, I'm so happy, this is so much better. So much better. See the change in light in the uh, in the camera and the ISD when the sun's coming out from behind the clouds. Popped out now, so we've got quite a bit of intensity. Okay, it's going into its loiter. So that all looks good. It feels really locked in. That was really good. Considering it's quite windy. There's the sea over there. Let's do a slow pass. Oh, I've got to land. Yeah, inevitably I have to land and then I can test my new reinforced wing tips. If they break off, I'll be pissed. I really will. Let's come down, do a slow fly past, drop the throttle off. Oh, 
Oh, this is why I love this plane when it's when it's when it's set up well. It's such a joy to fly. You get some really smooth, nice footage. What I'll do is I'll put the uh, I'll put the rear-facing camera on. I'll stick it on the side. Let's do a low fast pass. I love the sound of this plane, with this 9.5, 9x5 prop on 4S. It sounds really nice. Come in low. Give it the full beans. How many amps does it pull on full beans? Let's check. Let's get it flat out. That's it flat out. 33 amps. Okay, let's bring it into land. Let's try and do a decent landing. I'm going to take the throttle off completely and just try and glide it in and then give it some flaps at the end. into the wind. Oh, it's quite steep. Looks okay. Ignition off. I didn't get it on camera either because I didn't go past the camera. It wasn't the softest, softest of landing, as you can see you got some mud in the nose there, it did dig in quite a bit, but I'll take the uh, reinforcements as a win.